Hello there guys, it's me in Stable Voltage. Welcome to a new series of Civilization VI. Firstly, I'd just like to say uh, thank you to all of those people who have uh, stuck with me over the last few weeks. I know I haven't been posting any videos. Uh, I've been having some uh, awful problems with a tooth that still is in need of some root canal work and a crown. Uh, but luckily I am now uh, free from pain, albeit possibly temporarily, and I can get back to recording videos. So I've decided that I am going to do a uh, hopefully quick campaign of Civilization VI and attempt my first ever Deity win. In fact, this will be my first ever Deity game on Civilization VI. I have beaten Civ V a few times on uh, Deity, but never even attempted it on VI. Now, I'm using the exact same setup that I used in the previous uh, Civilization VI game, so I'm still playing as Portugal. Sorry if that's a little bit boring, but I really did enjoy using Portugal. And I don't feel that I use them to their fullest potential. I've got the same map setting, which is Splintered Fractal. I've got the same option set, so we're using a standard map instead of a small, but I've knocked two of the AI off, so we've got some more breathing room. Uh, we have the Monopolies and Corporations mode enabled. We have the um, Myths and Legends, the Heroes mode thing enabled, and those are the only two. So everything is exactly the same, except we are on Deity. I've decided to just start this video right on the uh, game screen rather than the menu because it just takes forever to load, and I'd just sooner do it before I start recording. So what's the main differences between a mortal and deity difficulty? Well, there's actually quite a few. Uh, the main thing that concerns me is the number of settlers the AI starts with. So I'm just going to basically uh, read off the list here. So uh, on deity, the AI starts with three settlers. It's only two on a mortal, which is still bad enough. Um, but this basically means that obviously the AI has the same rules as the player, that their cities have to be four tiles or further apart. But this means that within, within, within three or four turns of the start of the game, the AI can have three cities. And they do like to forward settle, which is one of the reasons why I tend to pick slightly larger maps and spread us out a little bit more. So they get more settlers. Uh, they start with four free tech and civic boosts. They only start with three in a mortal, so that, you know, they get a bit more of a head start. Uh, they get five warriors instead of four for a mortal. So they instantly start with, like, a pretty huge army for the beginning of the game. Uh, they start with two builders, but they also start with two builders on uh, Immortal as well. Uh, they actually get a 32% bonus to Science, Culture and Faith, which is quite frankly sickening. Uh, they still get 24% on Immortal. Uh, they also get an 80% bonus to Production and Gold, uh, which is 60% on Immortal. They get plus 4 combat bonus as opposed to the plus 3 in Immortal. Um, they get 40% extra AI combat XP rather than 30 on a mortal. And uh, I think those are all the differences. But as you can see, they're significantly uh, more powerful. But the one thing that doesn't improve or doesn't get better on Deity, is the AI. It still does exactly the same stupid stuff that it does on any other difficulty. It's just it's given more bonuses and the player's more of a handicap. So uh, they can still be beaten. I haven't picked a particular victory type. I'm just going for the win, so it might well end up being a science victory. If I have to go to war um, to get some breathing room, I will do it. But I don't intend to go for a domination victory because there's a lot of micromanagement involved with that. Um... I know on the last game everything felt like it went pretty easy, but I think that is because I did have a very good start, so I'm kind of relying on having a decent start here. As you can see, I can't even see where I spawned in, because as soon as I spawned in, I got this boost to foreign trade. So let's go ahead and click on that. So we've got something coastal, although this could well be a lake. It's difficult to tell. Uh, we do have crab, we have amber, uh, we've got cotton. Uh, so three good luxury resources, and that seemed like, you well, that's a bonus resource, uh, but two luxury resources, and that did seem to be something that I was struggling with a little bit in the previous game. Uh, we've got mountains all the way to the south here, mountains to the north, not a huge amount of expansion uh, room here, but our capital will be well protected. Um, let's take a step out with the warrior and see what we can do. Not an awful lot. I think we will have to settle on spot here. It's basically advising that I settle on almost any tile other than the one that I'm on. But I think this is the one that we will go for. Not a huge amount of flat, farmable land around here, but it is what it is. So that gives us a boost to sailing straight the way. Um, we probably want to go into mining because we do have stone close by. In terms of production, uh, let's go ahead and get a scout. I don't tend to go too far away with that warrior. 
Now, if I do find myself going to war with the AI, I really don't want that to happen early on, especially because, as we've already discovered, they start with five warriors. So that is something that we need to uh, wait on carefully. I'm going to do a tiniest little bit of exploration with our warrior. As we can see, we've already found one barbarian camp and a goody hut. Um, so I may try and deal with that. It would be nice if I can, actually, because it, we'd get some uh, some early gold. And that might be useful for something. Um, so let's just go and grab that. And we've already discovered Himiko. Uh, do we want to get... Well, we can't get it yet anyway because we don't have a monument. Um, so that's fine. We'll leave her for now. I would still really like to get Simbad again. I don't know if that's going to uh, to happen. I have had him in a game before, but unfortunately not the game that I uh, I recorded. Uh, let's move back over this way because I don't want to be fighting these guys across a river. And there we go. We have our scout. Now, I can't get to the south, which is a little bit of a pain, but it, at least it sort of dictates which direction I've got to go in. Um, it does look like we've got a few decent places we could potentially settle. I'd like to see what's down here. Uh, below the mountains. Let's go ahead and get a slinger. I do like this defensive position actually, so I don't feel that I need to have a massive army uh, at the beginning of the game, but we'll certainly consider that. Um, we're going to take a massive hit here, so I'm just going to fortify up. Barbarians still don't heal, so that is our kind of bonus here. Yeah, lots of mountains around. Might be really useful for us building some mountain passes. So what my intention is with Portugal in this game because I don't intend to be uh, spending money on lots of military units what my intention is to do is to use as much of my gold as possible to buy buildings when you find yourself as in mining use, as, use gold as much as possible to buy buildings and then use my production on wonders and other stuff that can't be purchased uh, we want to go for let's go go pottery and get that done and out of the way we have a goody hut and another volcano. We can get around to the north there, so that's fine. Uh, we are fully healed here. I sort of delayed. I should have gone in and made the attack. Now, we do want to try and find the other civilizations as quickly as we can. Uh, free scout. I'll take that. Let's go in this direction with him. Uh, the quicker we find other civilizations, the quicker we can get ourselves some trade routes. So that's good. This would still be a defeat. Let's just heal up again. We do want to get that camp cleared out so we don't get harassed. Uh, let's go over here with the uh, the slinger. Uh, the slinger might be able to help out. Uh, we'll get the monument. I'm just hoping we don't have any neighbours who are too close by. Because there isn't a lot of workable land. Alright, let's move you over. Yeah, I think we'll be fine. We'll go around there. There's some silver, some truffles, some rice. Potential good spot here. I think we certainly want to get ourselves those little mountain tunnels as quickly as possible. It's going to be very difficult moving units between our cities. Um, yeah, let's keep moving forward with you. Okay, there's the top of the map. So we've started quite far north. Uh, we've got units needing orders. And, right, there's Code of Laws. Uh, so, bonus when fighting barbarians and god king. I'm not going to try and get my own religion. I think it's a waste of time on deity anyway. Uh, but we will try and get some um, some faith. If anything, it's useful when trying to deal with uh, um, getting heroes. So, we, we purchase them with that. Uh, we'll go for foreign trade because it's boosted. It gives us a free trade. Not that we've got anyone we can trade with right now. Um, let's go see if we can find some more goody huts. And, uh, yeah, we do, actually. Just pinged one there. I think we've got to go the long way around to grab that, though. Yeah, we've got a scout coming in from the top up here. Let's see if we can get him cornered. Might be a thing. Now, you've actually stepped out of there. Can I kill you? No. But if I attack with you, that will be a major victory. I just want to get the kill with the slinger, if possible. There we go, because that gives us the boost to archery. That was the plan. Um, so there, we should be able to easily take that camp out, so I'm fine with that. And uh, now that we have um, discipline, we should be able to, you know, win in a straight up fight there. So yeah, we can't go north, we've got to go around, that's okay. So, still not the best start possibly, 
Now, I don't like the fact that this guy's getting kind of sandwiched in by this slinger. Um, that gives us a boost to military tradition. Uh, we'll go up there and see if we can save the scout. If I can't save the scout, it's not the end of the world. We got him for free anyway. Um, let's give you battle cry. I don't think we're going to be trying to take any cities this early on. I do need to scout this out and see if it leads to the sea. I thought clay There's pottery done. Now that did hurt, but luckily the um, their scout also killed themselves off. So let's back up there. And let's go and move forward and see if we can bait this guy to come towards us. Oh, we've got another barbarian camp over here, so we're going to have to deal with that one as well. Two goody huts. All right. We want both of those then. Um, let's grab animal husbandry just so we can find out where the horses are. Yeah, I'm not going to bother too much about that scout. I'm just going to try and grab the goody huts. I don't want to lose another scout if I can help it. Yeah, so let's start trying to move in with these guys. I don't want to go too far east here because I know they do have another... Um, well, that could that scout could have came... Sorry, that uh, slinger uh, came from this barbarian camp here. But the scout that we attacked, I think it came from the northeast. So there could be another barbarian camp up there. Somebody's already built the great baths. We're just going to go and... Uh, our warrior should be able to deal with that on his own. So let's just go ahead and bring the um, slinger back. Because we can see we do have some uh, scouts moving in. We actually might be able, even able to take that scout out with uh, with our slinger. Let's grab this one first. Come back for that one. So yeah, you are attacking. But that's fine. We can get rid of you. So that's good. Three barbarians killed. So that gives us the boost bronze working. Uh, that scout is there. We should be able to block him, because even if he comes this way, we've got zone of control, so that's all right. So, goody hook, 20 faith. Excellent. Not necessarily all that useful. So, we've also got uh, Hananfer and Zablanka. I didn't think... I don't know those. I don't know where they came from. Do I want either of them, or do I want to wait, is the question. Um... What do you have? You're the one that allows me to... Yeah, kill an enemy unit and have a chance of bringing it under my control. I don't think that's all useful. I really would rather wait for Sinbad right now, if possible. Uh, let's go ahead and get a builder. We're still only at three population, so I don't think that's worth trying to get a settler yet. I also haven't seen a particularly good spot that's made me think, Oh, that needs settling. Um, possibly somewhere over here, close to the floodplains. Maybe even on this spot. That would give us the maize. It would give us the cotton. It wouldn't be too close to the volcano. Couple of deer. I think that actually might be the might be the one. Uh, right there, and it's on the river, so that could be a decent spot to settle. Haven't had a look down here yet, so there might still be something decent to use. Okay. Um, so that's, that's potentially where we would put our next city. Unless I find a better spot. So yeah, you're sneaking past me, which is not really allowed. But we should be able to get you. Choose a pantheon. Well, we don't have any holy sites. And we're probably not going to have any or many. Uh, wonders. Not building any yet. Production from marsh oasis and desert floodplains. Now, what are these here? These are just floodplains. So, yes, this is specifically desert floodplains. Um, fishing boats. I mean, we'll probably have some of those. Uh, camps, we're not going to have many. Quarries. I mean, we can get some faith from quarries. We're definitely going to have a few of those. And it would be nice to have some faith, like I said, just for the, the pure fact of getting... Um, just for the pure fact of being able to get more heroes. That's probably the one that I'm going to go for. Fertility rights. When a, ch when a chosen... When chosen, receive a builder in your capital and city growth rate is 10% higher. Actually, fertility rights. 
Because I think we might end up going tall rather than wide here. And that gives us a free builder. So let's go ahead and start working on grabbing some production here. Um, I'm going to bring you home. I do need to heal him up, but I, I want to bring him home as well. So that's fine. So let's go back down here and grab that other goody hut. Now there's a slinger, which I prefer not to deal with. But like I said, I just want to grab the goody hut right now. Uh, might have to go over here and deal with that other barbarian camp. I'm assuming that's where this scout came from. Don't like the fact that you're heading towards my city, but I think I can probably head you off. You are going to get a quarry there. So that gives us a boost to masonry. Right, we've now been spotted by the barbarian scout. So what he should do now is he should start trying to head back towards his own um, camp. That's the way this should work. Uh, let's just move you into the city. Just while that scout is nearby. Because even a scout can capture. Excellent! I've got Sinbad. Brilliant. Um, can I not get him though? I want Sinbad. Now this... He might be stuck in here. And if that's the case, then this is... This is a problem. However, once I claim him, he's mine for the whole game. So, I definitely want That's to get him. Positive aspect of trade, I suppose. So, there's foreign trade done. The that gives us a trader. Up together. And do joint war and ongoing wars and stuff like that. Uh, we're not building units yet. Um, we don't have any trade routes. So, I think we'll just go for production right now. Yeah, and I don't like this guy being here. I think I might try and have a little look down here. So we've got a trade route. You actually get a promotion, but we'll have to deal with that on the next turn. Let's go for mysticism. Just get it out of the way. It is boosted. Um, you're going to go there to heal up. We're going to move you in. I'm sure that you wouldn't be able to get me if I moved there because of zone of control. Because you've got to go past the city and the city has zone of control. So that should be okay. If there are no dogs so there's there. animal husbandry. No horses close to the city itself. Um, in fact, I didn't even get a ping to say there was horses anywhere. Are there like no horses on this map or something? Uh, let's pick up... Let's grab writing actually so we can go and get a campus. Because we really need to make sure we get ahead and stay ahead in terms of the... Uh, the science in this game. So we've got Sinbad now. Uh, let's go. Can we give you your promotion? We can pet the dog. Uh, I'd sooner give you your promotion. But let's get away from you. So we've got Sinbad now. Sinbad can actually scout this out. So what's so good about Sinbad? Why do I really like him? Especially as Portugal. Well you can see he's got 8 charges. He's got 7 movement which is great. Uh, he had Sinbad. So basically let's have a look here actually. It's easier to see. Uh, so Sinbad has um, Sinbad's journeys. He earns 400 gold whenever he discovers a continent or natural wonder. So basically, just sailing around and discovering new stuff will get you 400 gold every time, which is fantastic. Um, he can also enter ocean tiles right from the start of the game, and then he has Sinbad's fortunes. He can target any adjacent enemy naval unit or barbarian camp. So enemy naval unit also counts barbarian naval units. Uh, the target is either cleared or damaged by 50% and Sinbad immediately gains 200 gold. But it does cost him one charge and ends his turn. So you could potentially, if all eight charges destroy um, a ship, you could potentially get 1600 gold just doing that. And then 400 gold every time he discovers a uh, continent or natural wonder. And we've discovered another civilization. We've discovered Congo. And we've actually discovered Shaka. They're very close to each other. Not necessarily pleased about having um, Shaka on my doorstep, if I'm honest. Uh, looks like we are... Are we closer to Congo? Where's where's Shaka? Oh, Shaka's all the way down here. Okay, not too bad. Now, this has revealed that it does look like we are stuck in a bit of a lake. Which is not ideal. But like I said, we will have another coastal city somewhere or a canal. In the future, I will be able to get Sinbad 
out of here. Uh, just not right now. So that's unfortunate, but I really, really wanted to get Sinbad. You can make a lot of money with him. Um, yep, we can get rid of you. Excellent. So now Sinbad's done. Let's go bad, bad, go bad. Uh, let's go back to getting that builder. Uh, what do we want to do with you? Uh, we don't have sailing yet, so we can't get the crab. Um, we don't have irrigation yet, so we can't get that. I mean, I guess we can just go and build a, a normal mine over here. So let's go ahead and do that. We still don't have a, a governor title yet, which we could do with. So let's go ahead and get that mine there. That gives us a boost towards craftsmanship and gets rid of one of those builders. So we can actually have three trade routes now. And we definitely want to get some. We want to start trading. Um, although we don't have anybody coast. We can only trade with coastal cities, remember. So this is a little bit unfortunate here. Um, you're going to heal up. You might as well just sit in the city for now. Yeah, I'm hoping Shaka doesn't come and give me too many problems. In fact, I'm not going to put you in the city. I'm going to send you north. We're going to try and deal with these barbarians. I don't think Shaka is going to attack. Uh, one thing I didn't notice when I was looking at the changes to the AI, I was pretty certain that... Um, oh, there might be a way out here. I was pretty certain that higher level AIs uh, were more prone to declare war on you. But maybe not. Oh, no, 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 we can get out here. Excellent. So, yeah, we definitely want to go exploring with Sinbad as quickly as we can. So, yeah, let's go ahead and, and get ourselves out here. We definitely want to uh, heal up with the, the warrior, though. So, here's another builder. Uh, we can't do anything with him right now. So, let's just go ahead and put him to sleep. Um, six turns for a granary. We'll get a settler when we hit four population. So, let's work on the granary first. Especially as we don't have many places where we can build farms. You're fully healed. Did it even give me a notification? I don't recall it doing so. Let's go have a look. Um, you've got your promotion. Lots of hills, so let's give you Alpine. And start moving up with you. You need to heal. All going decently so far. And we've met um, Carthage. Also notice everybody dislikes me already. Uh, Carthage does look to be coastal. So now we do have somebody that we should be able to trade with. That is really good. Uh, can I afford to buy a trader? Yes, I can. So straight up purchasing a trader. Earlier you can do it. It'll pay for itself. So purchase a trader. You're just going to stay here because you're really just keeping your eye on this uh, this fort. Which way do I go? Let's just have a quick nip to the south. We've discovered a city-state. And then we should be able to get out here. What I'd like to try and do is find some barbarian camps uh, that are coastal. Unfortunately, this one is just one tile out of the way. Um, but if we can find any coastal camps or any barbarian ships, uh, we can do some damage to them. Now, they've spawned a slinger. That's a pain. But we'll sort of keep moving up. I should have got archery. Let's keep having a look. There's another city-state. I've got a feeling we might get stuck up here at the top. This is not a brilliant map. Um, let's go ahead and go to Ziz, because at least that way it'll give us uh, faith as well. We could also go to Samarkand. Uh, we've got four cities that we can trade with here. So that says to me... Um, you know, we might as well try and get these trade routes as, as quick as we can. You're going to head up there. Oh, that's a lot of barbarians suddenly out of nowhere. And there's a barbarian scout with reduced health, which tells me um, he's got into a scuffle over here somewhere. But the question is, who with? So there might be another civilization over here, or a city-state possibly. Like I there's mysticism done. I don't think we need to change anything there, so I'm just going to leave that as it is. Let's go for craftsmanship. I mean, that does give us Ilkum. Not that we need lots of builders right now. Um, let's go for Samarkand. They have the fewest number of uh, envoys already there. So we'll be more likely to get them on board. And yeah, let's keep going around with that slinger. We haven't got archery yet. Right, so we found the camp there. That's good to know. Lots of mountains. So we want to head back down to the south. Yeah, unfortunately, you're blocked in. That's... 
that is not fantastic. I will have a quick look up here just to see if there are any barbarians. That would have been really nice if they were, but... Ah, there is a there is a barbarian camp on the coast. Excellent. So, wow, that's a lot of units. Two scouts, though. And the only way they can get round is here. You're almost fully healed, so I think we'll just wait on you. That warrior's trying to pen you in, but I think we can escape. I mean, yes, we're going to get attacked, but I still think we can get away in general. Uh, that gave us uh, writing. Let's go grab... Well, I'd like irrigation, to be honest, so we can get that plantation. And I'd like sailing. Sailing is going to be quicker to get, and then we can get the crab. But I think we are going to go for the irrigation simply because uh, if we set settle a second city, we want the uh, we want the happiness. Uh, so choosing our production here, we are now up to 14 population. We still don't have Magnus yet, um, but we don't want to delay it for too long. So let's go ahead and get the settler and uh, move up with you. You're at full health now, so let's get you up there. Lots of hills, so the movement is terribly slow. So your coastal, so we can do Sinbad's Fortunes on there. And we instantly get 30 gold plus 200 gold. So you get the 30 gold for clearing the camp. And then you get 200 gold um, for Sinbad's ability. So that was literally 230 gold in a single turn for nothing. Shame I can't get to that one. Uh, let's try and escape. Um, what about if I give you... Let's just go ahead and give you your promotion. That might save you. Yeah, I don't really think there's anything else Sinbad can do. We'll look. Yeah, there isn't any more coastline he can explore, unfortunately. So, I'm going to put this guy here. Maybe he'd have been better off staying behind the river, to be honest. But it should stop any of their units coming in and attacking. You're getting very aggressive with that warrior. I'm just going to keep, keep running away, if I can. Yeah, I don't think Sinbad's going to be able to do anything else here. That is a shame. Going to move in a little bit. I don't think they're going to bring that Spearman out. Plus of which, there's hills in the way, so he can't get to me on this turn anyway. So let's keep moving you up there. And we've met Cleopatra. Excellent. So that gives us, um, once again, a another trade route. We're up to five now. And she's all the way over there. So you have now brought that spearman out. I'm almost tempted to just try and sneak in behind him with that scout. Let's back up. Let's make it difficult for him as much as we can. Uh, you do have a promotion though. I can't use that right now. Let's get rid of all of these other notifications. They're not majorly important. Uh, I can't attack. I can't attack people on the land with Sinbad. I think you can only do that with uh, with barbarian camps, not with barbarians, unfortunately. Uh, I could try and go for the attack here, but I don't think it's reasonably worthwhile. You are still attacking me. Let's see if I can jump in behind Antana and Revo and have them deal with you. Still yeah, he's still going for it. Is craftsmanship. And gives it Do we want to change anything here? Well, I think we certainly want to keep discipline for the time being. Um, plus two for gold from trade routes. I think that's going to be useful. We are going to get some more trade routes very, very soon. Uh, I'm just going to... Um, if he attacks me across the river... Yeah, now I'm just going to run away. I was going to say if he attacks me across the river and I'm fortified, I might survive it, but I just don't think it's worth the risk. Uh, let's go for military tradition. Again, it's boosted. Uh, you are still pushing forwards with that spearman, but it has meant you've left your camp unattended, so her, her. Um, let's again bring you back. Let's force you to have to fight across the river if that's what you want to do. Uh, just found something else. Oh, found a new city-state. Um, can't promote you again on this turn because we've already moved you. Uh, Cleopatra's happy that we've dealt with the barbarians. Still nobody's friendly though. Everybody's still unfriendly. We can get a minor victory attempting that. There is still this um, slinger behind us which we should take stock of. Um, do I want to try and attack you? No, I think I'm just going to bring you back 
Let, let's force him into a position. We've got rid of the camp, which was the main thing here. This volcano has become active, which is a pain, but it's not close enough to me to really bother me. Although I have just got to move closer to it, which might have been my undoing. Um, skip the turn with you, because you can't move any further forward. Let's just stick our nose right down in this corner in case there's anybody in there that isn't. Yeah, Sinbad will make us some major money. Let's get you out. Oh, flip, there's another scout there. I was just trying to run away and ran into another scout. Oh, well, it is what it is. We'll fortify up. Um, let's give you your promotion. Give you range strength versus land units. And we could build the Oracle. Well, it's a campus that we really want. Uh, so let's go start working on a campus. Now, a plus three, it'll be great. Let's do it on this tile. The reason I picked this tile is because this one will be better for a farm. And we've already got quite a few good production tiles. Uh, so now we've got a settler. We want to get him over there. We'll, we'll kind of use this scout as a bit of a... Oh, that's, oh, that's Egypt. That's fine. We'll be alright there, I think. Um, so yeah, can't really do anything with you. We'll skip the turn. And Sinbad's kind of just floating around at the moment with nothing really to do. He, right, there's that scout lost. That is unfortunate, but at the same time, it is expected. We got rid of the camp. We do still have a scout, and we got one for free, so I'm not, not overly precious about losing it. We could go uh, and use uh, Sinbad here as a bit of a bit of a little little scout himself. Uh, so that's somebody built the pyramids. See, they can still attack me, which is where we have to be careful. They do, like, next to no damage. It's not a big deal. Um, yeah, there probably aren't going to be any more barbarian camps along the coast anywhere. There's dyes down there. That would be a nice spot to have. Um, so the spearmen are still there. I'm going to try and push forward a little bit. I mean, if I can take them out, I think that would be good. So we've got a golden age. Bravery. Is Always big. nice. There's military tradition done. Uh, again, I just think we keep it as it is. I don't think we need to change any of those right now. Uh, let's go for free inquiry. It's always nice to get additional science. Uh, new civic. Uh, land surveyors is probably going to be useful for us, especially as Portugal. I will probably be buying a lot of land now i'm attacking across the river there which is a bit stupid but even then it was a minor victory so not a bad idea let's bring you home i don't think i need the slinger out here now um egypt has horses so there are horses somewhere on the map uh yeah i was going to look around here i thought if there was anywhere where barbarians were going to spawn it'd be somewhere along this coast but doesn't look like that has happened. Thousands have lived without but there's irrigation done, so you are attacking me, as expected. Um, but that's fine, I should be able to take you out. And then we'll heal you back up. Uh, you can come back home, we'll get archery at some point. So there's Oracle done. So we've almost got our second city. Um, yeah, let's get archery, and now that we've got irrigation, let's go over there and get the cotton. Yeah, just nothing going on in here. It's a shame that this is... I mean, it is a sea, but it's a shame that we just can't get through it with Sinbad. It's like the one time I get Sinbad early game and I get a really poor... poor map position. But it is what it is. Let's heal up with you. You are blocking any barbarians off from getting in that way, so that's ideal, really. So in you go. That gives us a bit more housing, a bit more gold. You're going to go in there. We'll get another city. Uh, we've got a decent amount of gold on hand now, actually, so let's go and buy another trader. Um, in fact, we can afford to buy two. So let's do it. Like I said, the earlier you get them, the quicker they'll pay for themselves. Scout coming in there that might try and attack me. That'd be interesting. Uh, let's go and delete that push pin. So, found a city. So, there is Coimbra. And what do we want to get out of you? Probably food. Let's get the granary. Uh, we could go and get a builder and, and build a farm on the floodplain. 
that might not be a bad idea. I can't afford one right now. 230, only a couple of turns away. And in fact, that'll speed up once we send those. Uh, actually, can I send you? We don't have sailing yet, so there's not a lot you can do. Let's just send that builder over there. I think it'll be quicker. Um, so, oh, this city's great. Plus 21 gold. Yes, please. And then we've got another one, so we can either send... See, 28 turns for 12 gold, or 20 turns for 12 gold and one faith. So we might as well do that. So we're already at 57 gold per turn on turn 48. So that is pretty decent. Uh, that is the end of the turn, though, and we're up to 35 minutes. I hadn't realised how much fun I'd been having, so I'm going to end the video there. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. I hope you are going to enjoy this series of Civilization VI. Hopefully this will be my first deity win, and I'm excited to share it with you all if it is. If it isn't, then we'll just forget it ever happened and try again at a later date. So thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you on the next video, and until then, goodbye for now.